So hi, Michael, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Hello. So what can you tell me about your song? My song is called You Let Me Walk Alone. It's a song that I wrote for uh, or about my father. It's about the loss of my father. who He died 13, 14 years ago. And it's, uh, that means that it's a very uh, personal and emotional song, of course. So is it hard to, ri to write it? It was hard to write it. And it's, uh, of course, also not easy to sing it. But um, on the other hand, it's... It's uh, good for me because I, I have a song that I'm singing on stage and get very emotional and I hope that um, everyone who watches uh, the Eurovision also can feel that it's, uh, that it's a story that's my, myself and it's my story and it's not a song that someone else wrote for me but it's a song that I wrote myself. Um, you're a singer-songwriter, can you tell me about your career um, outside of Eurovision? Well, uh, I started singing and playing the guitar when I was seven or eight at a very young age. I didn't have any lessons, uh, no singing lessons, no guitar lessons. No, no never. Um, and all natural. All, all natural, yeah. Just, just learning by doing. And then I started posting videos on YouTube uh, in 2006 and gained uh, uh, quite a big uh, fellowship and um, then attended uh, the Voice of Germany um, in 2011 and got into the final and after that I released many albums and toured a lot, played many shows and now I'm here at the Eurovision. Yeah, I searched your covers on YouTube and I found out that your most popular cover is from Gautier, somebody that I used to know yeah. and Gautier has got some roots in Belgium, we're a Belgian side um, why that song, why Gautier? Well, it was a big hit uh, back then. That was uh, in, at the end of 2011. And uh, I just loved that song. And then I covered it together with my, with my friend Max Giesinger. Can you still sing uh, a little piece from it? It's too hard now. Uh, uh, what's, what's it again? What's the lyrics? Ding, ding. Ding, I don't know. Now I'm laughing of all the times you screwed me over. But of me, believe me, it was always something that I had done I don't wanna live that way Reading into every word you say You said that you could let it go But I wouldn't let you get on with somebody that you used to know Okay, something like that <laughs> Very well, thank you So, um, I think Germany is sending a very good song this year to the contest um, do you think you can break the curse of Germany at Eurovision because the last entries didn't score very well? Um, Levina last year when came second last, unfortunately. What do you think about your chances? Well, I am very optimistic that I'm not going to be at the bottom this year. I'm, I'm hoping for uh, somewhere in the top 10, maybe. I, th I know it's very hard to get there because there are so many good artists and so many good songs. Um, but that would be very nice for me and that would be very nice for, for Germany after the last uh, three years. And I just can do my best and hope for uh, some votes from, from Europe. Do you think there is a curse on Germany in Eurovision? Why do the songs of Germany score uh, so low? I don't think so. I think uh, the artists and the songs were, were good, but um, I'm always saying that uh, at Eurovision you need either you need a song that is very loud and different and colorful with firework or you need something that is uh, very quiet and, and intimate and personal. You need yeah. something that sticks out yeah. out of all these countries. And I think that was the main problem that it was mm. it was good but neither was it very crazy uh, and also not very emotional and um, for example last year's winner was very intimate and emotional and um, I think mine is too and, and I hope that it sticks out in some kind of way. Okay, I hope you stick out and that you break the curse of Germany. Best of luck in Lisbon. Thank you.